In this tutorial, I will teach you how to implement Stripe Checkout using Svelte Kit and the Stripe SDK. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Firstly, open up Stripe.com and click on the top right button that says Login. Create an account, but on my screen, since I'm already logged in, it says Dashboard. Once you have logged in, go to the dashboard.stripe.com and create a new account on the top left. Once you're on the Create New Account form, on the account name, just create whatever name you want. Then click Create Account. Once you have created the project, click on the Developers button. Once you're in the Developer page, click on Browse Docs. Once you have the documentation open, click on Accept Online Payments. This should take you to a documentation page where it takes you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a payment. In the Define a Product, create the name of Dev Course Level 1. Give it whatever price you want and then click Create Test Product. Once you have created the test project, open up your VS Code Editor. Now open your terminal and input npm init svelte. Create a svelte project and make sure it's a skeleton project and it has TypeScript enabled. Once you have created the project, input npm install stripe. Now run the dev server using npm run dev. Once everything's installed, create a new file called .env in the root. In the .env, create a secret stripe key variable. To get the secret stripe key, you go to the developer's page in stripe, API keys, and then reveal test key. Once that's done, just input it as the secret stripe key. Now in the routes directory, create a plus layout.svelte. All this will do is remove the margin from the body. Now create a plus page.server.ts file. This file will contain all the server code for the project. This will handle the payment and the initialization of Stripe. You can also put any HTTP requests in this file, but that is beyond this video. So initialize Stripe and create a new object called Actions and use the Actions interface from Svelte. Now create a checkout function and create a URL that could be a string or null. Now create a try catch block and inside that try catch block, Initialize a new session of Stripe, await it, and assign it to the session's constant. This will create the instance of the payment when we want to make the payment. But because the payment is already defined on the back end in Stripe, we will just input the price ID from Stripe, and we will give it a quantity of 1. To get the price ID, go back to the Developers tab in Stripe and go to the Events page. Once you're in the events page, you should see the latest event is that you created a new price called price and the price ID. Now click on the actual price ID in the event data and it should take you to the actual offer. Now copy the price ID from the top right and go back to VS Code and just input the price ID into the price. And if anything goes bad, we just throw a 500 error. If the URL is not null, we will console.log the URL and we will redirect to it. Make sure that the redirect code is 303 because if you use another redirect code, it will not work. Now open up the plus page as felt and create a new script with the lang of ts. Now we will just check for the query parameters in the URL. Make sure to fix the typo. And I'll create a new form with the action question mark slash checkout. In Svelte Kit, we use this notation to specify which action we want to use on the page. Because we are not using the default, we will just specify the name and make sure the method is post. Now add some extra markdown to add some bottom text. 
Now go to the GitHub, go to the routes page, plus page spell, and copy the styles. Once you have copied the styles, go back to VS Code and paste them in. Once that's done, you should be able to open up the dev server and there should be a green checkout button. Once you click it, it should take you to the checkout.stripe.com. You should see the price that you inputted with the name that you inputted. If we go back, you can see the why did you cancel. Now let's go back. And for the information, just input the information I put. Make sure that the card is the same as mine, but the rest of the information can be whatever. As you can see, it says congrats on your purchase. If we go back to Stripe, you can see in payments, it says that we got paid. But because this is an actual test payment, it won't actually process anything. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment.